Hello, Veteran 021 here. Welcome back, and this is Final Fantasy IV The After Years. The only change I made to my party, I put Edge in my party for now. Uh, yeah, it's only going to be temporary. I want him in my party for the next part. Because it kind of has something to do with him. Wow, from this battle I got a rose twine dress. Interesting. Uh, I believe that is female exclusive gear that might not be bad. No, that's actually really, really good. Raises a bunch of stats, evasion. Wow, I got that from an enemy drop too, no less. Cool, I'll take it. All I gotta do is just not get a game over, because if I get a game over, I fucking lose it. Which would suck. That would piss me off. A red fang? Really? Who the fuck uses those? No one uses that shit. Well, let's go ahead and check out this crystal. How would you know them? I mean, didn't these monsters exist before you were born? Whatever. But yeah, we're going to be taking on the king and queen of Eblon, and I don't think we really have to do anything for this fight. Maybe we gotta deal a little damage or something, I don't know. So, I don't, yeah, I don't understand the, uh, the purpose of this fight here. I mean, it's kind of like rehashing what happened in the first game, and it's really kind of pointless. Yeah, just like that, they're dead. <laughs> Pathetic. So it would have been kind of nice if they actually made a boss out of these two, you know? Actually made you fight them. Instead of just rehashing what happened in the first game over again. I don't understand the purpose of this. Okay. Gotta check. Alright, subterrain B7. This kind of looks like, um, well, looks familiar. I believe in the uh, PSP and WiiWare versions, this uh, this room right here was actually reversed. Interestingly enough, but it's the same shit. Holy crap! Look at these guys. Um, trying to get Shadowbind on the Behemoth back here if I can.
no effect. Come on, man. That shit worked in the other game. Yeah, I want to get Gale Rush going here. Maybe I'll use a shuriken on this guy. Or did I just choose the wrong enemy there? I might have just cho Oh no, no I didn't. Um... I can just target all... Wow. Okay. Living male. Huh. That damage was sh at Yeah, that was just shit damage. That was absolute shit. Horrible. And so was that. Holy fuck. This guy hits pretty hard. Um... Whatever, I guess I'll do that. Human kite, I guess, on the behemoth. Oh, now this fucker's gonna start hitting hard, huh? How the fuck? How the fuck am I supposed to survive this? If he's gonna start hitting that hard. Do I gotta use another bronze hourglass? Seems like every enemy I gotta use bronze hourglasses on because they're too fucking strong. Please tell me this works. Thank goodness for that. Because if it doesn't work, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't think uh, the Behemoth is actually susceptible to stop in the original game. But yeah, he, it, he was susceptible to Shadow Bind or paralyze. But it doesn't look like he is in this game. So just use stop. Ah, fuck, man. Just hurry up and kill this guy. Come on. Let's go before the stop spell wears off. I used a silver hourglass, so hopefully it should last longer. There we go. So I guess what you could do is try and kill the behemoth off before you kill the enemies in the front row that way he's not hitting as fucking hard cuz he just hits way too hard unless you're using blink or something like that then he just hits way too fucking hard There's no save point in here? What the fuck? There's a chest though. Cat ear hood. Uh huh. You can use this. Doesn't look like anybody can. In my current party. Can't remember what the cat ear hood does in this game or. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I can't remember. I know in other Final Fantasy games that like, uh, like in Final Fantasy XII, the Cat Ear Hood is amazing because it helps. Uh, it's an it's an accessory in that game that helps you. Um, ooh, a protect ring that that helps you uh, turn license points into gill, which is really really nice for that game, anyways. Protect ring. Who's getting it? Not her. Uh, well, you know what, I guess Edge is getting it.
Yeah, that'll work for now. No, the interdimensional elevator that was previous, you know, the last one at the beginning of the episode, that was actually in this area, so they moved it for whatever reason. I don't know why. And it doesn't look like it's in here either. So you know what? I have to go back and change my party, because I don't want this party right now. And we get a Brave Suit, which I believe is for monk-type characters, or ninjas, I guess? Protects against Curse? Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. I'll give it to Edge for now. That'll Wow, that really helps out his stats immensely. Well, either way, yeah, I'm going to change my party. I don't want this party for the next part. Alright, we got some new enemies here. We got Shadows and Alvisimos. I guess? Is that the... Uh, I don't know. It's a fucking weird name. I don't know what they're weak to. I have no idea. I'm gonna have Kane jump on them. This is my party for the next, at least next boss. Uh, maybe even beyond that for for a few more bosses. Yeah, I have Golbez in his standard tank role, and yeah, enemies will attack him, and uh, they won't be able to do much unless they try and put paralyze on him, because that'll actually work. Yeah, so far the enemies in this area don't seem too bad. He seems to be immune with death. I'm, I'm thinking the ribbon actually uh, protects against that because it's not working or it says no effect. I mean, it doesn't say miss, so something he's wearing makes him immune to death. I don't know. What does he have equipped again? Uh, unless the Genji equipment does, which it doesn't say, so I'm not really sure. So yeah, the game doesn't give you enough information. I'd have to look it up. Alright, we got another new enemy. Dino Zombie. Ow. Ow. That sucks. I imagine this guy's weak to Holy and Fire. And yeah, Lenora, her spells just stink. So I'm not even going to bother with her spells, unless... Cura works. Could try that. Nope, it doesn't. Really? Fire doesn't work either, huh? Interesting. Holy does. So it's only weak to holy. Not weak to fire. Ah, oh, shit. That's not good. That is not good. Come on, Kane, hurry up. Jump, Kane, jump! Oh, you fucking whore. This guy is a fucking whore. Um, you don't know the raise spell? She doesn't know the... Oh, yes, she does. Jeez, I'm just not used to it being at the top of the list. Come on. There we go. Yeesh. Bring your holy weapons for that guy. It's crazy. Oh yeah, by the way, might as well go over my equipment setups, right? You have the Cat Ear Hood, which actually reduces ice damage taken. Luminous Robe, Protect Ring on Lenora, just because it's, it would be good for her. Um, yeah, for Edge, I also have him with the Protect Ring, Brave Suit, Chakra Band for Elemental Resistance. I could equip the, uh, the Red Cap, it is better defense, evasion, magic, defense, and all that stuff, but I like the chakra band for uh, status resistance, mainly, so that's how I'm going with that. Palum, uh, yeah, I just gave him a gill band because I like gill at this point. I want to get my money up. That's my equipment for Kane. Got him with the lustrous sword. 
Obviously, it was very useful for the uh, the last battle. So let's continue. Alright, so there's going to be a chest over here. chest over here as well. And yeah, wasn't there a boss on this floor or is that going to be... Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I see. <laughs> Mount Ordeals again. I get it. Ooh. Got some some stone golems. They don't look like they hit too hard either. They look kind of easy. Yeah, they look pretty easy. I think I'm just going to go with a bio spell on these guys. Huh, doesn't work. Okay, don't use bios on them. Don't use bio. Bio will not work. I imagine they're probably weak to ice, though. They look like they're probably weak to ice. Maybe. I could be wrong about that. Those guys are easy, man. Piece of cake. Yes, I will make use of the save. Oh, we're going to rest here. Okay, well, let's rest here then. It's going to go on here. It's okay, you don't have to call everybody lady and sir. You guys are uh You guys are allies now. You're you're equals. You don't have to show all that respect. Although, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, if you ask me. Well, how else are you going to learn? Experience is the best teacher. You know, I don't remember this little story event from from uh, from before. This is different. Or maybe it's just different because we're on Mount Ordeals or something. I don't know. This this is different though. I don't remember there being a scene here with uh, Lenora and and, and Porum. Be jealous, Luca. I 
Or maybe this did happen. It just happened in a different area. Does. Yes, they can. Very, very true. All right, we get the ice crush band. I don't know uh, who that band is for. Maybe it's for all those characters there. I don't really know. But yeah. Yeah, women can be fearsome things at times. That is very true. Alright, this is a good time to end it. This is all for this episode of Final Fantasy IV The After Years. In the next episode, I guess you can pretty much guess who the next boss is going to be. I mean, who do we fight on the summit of Mount Ordeals in the first game? It's pretty obvious who it's going to be. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.